The Goat House is back with week six power rankings here every Tuesday morning, ranking every single NFL team from 32 to 1 based on how they are playing so far this season. Let's take a look at what we got heading into week six. Remaining at 32 is the New England Patriots after letting one slip away against the Miami Dolphins. Yeah, it's not a good loss right there. Obviously a winnable game. I feel like if they ran the ball more, they would have won because the run was very effective. 31, the Cleveland Browns. It's odd seeing them down here. Well, not right now based on the way they're playing, but going into the year, we thought possibly a playoff team. They have too much talent to be down here, but this is where they belong. They're very bad right now. Down two spots to number 31. 30, the Panthers are making their way back to where they started in that area after uh, getting destroyed by the Bears, which you think that's somewhat of a winnable game, uh, but not a good outing. Down two spots to number 30. Number 29 is going to be the Miami Dolphins picking up a win against the Patriots. I liked how they came back. Things started to click a little bit, uh, and they ran the ball very well, even though Achan went down. Jalen Wright, Raheem Mostert looked pretty good. They're at 29. 28, the Jaguars pick up their first win. Offense is clicking. You know, two weeks in a row, <clears throat> really getting going. Defense, maybe not so much. So they squeaked one out against the Colts. But Colts were a team that were, they were starting to pick it up a little bit. And Joe Flacco's playing pretty well. So being able to win that game is pretty solid for them. Maybe they kind of get on track now. Similar to what they did last year. We will see. They're in London this week against the Bears. They're up three spots, 28. 27, the Tennessee Titans had a bye. They end up staying put. Not just because they had a bye. There's everything going on around them. No room for movement here. Raiders down four spots, disappointing, a good start, but a disappointing outing against the Broncos, and they typically beat the Broncos, so that's not great. They're a little sloppy. They don't know who they're going with that quarterback, the whole Devontae Adams situation. It's not great there in Vegas. They're at 26, 25. The Rams stay put. They played with the Packers. One they probably could have won because things were kind of going their way, but completely outplayed in the second half, even though they had a shot. 24, the Colts are down five spots. Yeah, they were on a little bit of a win streak, and then they let one slip away. They played very well offensively, but they were kind of just playing keep up with the Jags. It was mainly fourth quarter for the Colts. Defense was pretty brutal. The only team without a win was the Jaguars, and they, they dropped that one. So they're down five spots to 24. 23, the Giants... Pretty impressive against the Seattle Seahawks. They're going to go up three spots. The defensive line is very impressive. They were with, without some of their best players on offense, and they were able to pull it off. So they're going to go up three spots, 23. Let's see if they can put something consistent together and then keep on rising. But they won. They moved up. 22, the Bengals down a spot. Yes, I think we all feel that the Bengals are actually better than the number 22 team in football. But that's kind of an assumption. They got to go out there and win football games. They got to go out there and close out games. It's crazy they only have one win, but at the end of the day, they only have one win. So they're down to number 22. And the Bengals and the Giants, 22 and 23, play each other in primetime football this week. So that could be an interesting one there. 21, Chargers had a bye. End up going down a spot. Just a team needing to move up was the reason for that. And that is the Chicago Bears going up four spots. Yeah, it was the Panthers, but they dominated the Panthers. And they're now on a two-game winning streak. They're going to go to London to play the Jags this week. That could be an interesting game. We'll see if the Bears can keep rolling and keep on progressing with their development here. They're at 20. 19, the Jets lost another one. Could come back against the Vikings, but they definitely got outplayed in this one. Run game wasn't there. Too many turnovers. Pass defense was solid. Uh, but, yeah, they've been definitely underwhelming because this was supposed to be the easier part of the schedule, but some teams end up being tougher like the Vikings than expected. But they're at 19. Tough one against the Bills for them. The Cardinals are up five spots. They're a tough one to rank because you want to move them up more because they beat the 49ers. And the Cardinals, even in some losses this year, have shown some good things. So they are up five spots after beating the Niners. Uh, very impressive. But... They're so inconsistent. Last week, they looked so bad. I know the Commanders look really good right now, but they look so terrible at home. So they got to put something consistent together here. But they do go up a good amount, five spots here after that win. Saints are down two spots. They're on a three-game losing streak. People got a little too hyped in the first two, week, uh, two, two weeks with the Saints after those wins. But, yeah, not as good since then. The offense, Derek Carr, definitely not as good since then. It's quite obvious in this system – they kind of rely on the run game being good and involved. They can't be down in games. They have to be up in games. Like those were those games went to perfection the first two weeks. Those aren't going to happen every single week. So uh, they need specifics to happen. And Derek Carr not to turn the ball over the run game to be alive, them to be in the game. So it's not a great look for them. 
Somehow they were sticking in that game with the Chiefs, even though they got completely outplayed, but they're down two spots. Some of their losses, are they could have been wins, though, if you think about it. The Eagles, the Falcons, so they are pretty close to being a much better team, so let's see if they can figure it out. They play the Bucks this week in a big one. 16, the Steelers are down three spots. we got some teams coming up here that it feels like, based on what they're doing, how they're playing, maybe they're more deserving of, of moving down further but look at the teams below them it's hard to move them down further the Steelers yeah disappointing one against the Cowboys given the circumstances going into that game with all those Cowboys injuries you know at home Cow Dak Cowboys you know the Cowboys giving them gifts and they cannot find a way to pull that one off so I was extremely disappointing in them disappointed in them but they're down three spots they're on a little bit of a losing streak but they do have still have some good wins I suppose and some other teams below them are kind of helping them out they're also losing or they cannot be consistent 15, the Niners, yeah, very disappointing. I thought they outplayed the Cardinals for most of that game. It's kind of like the Rams game. They outplayed their opponent, but they end up losing the game. So they are gonna they're, they can't put anything consistent together either. So they're, they're down five spots to number 15. You can see they're, they're good, though. You kind of can feel it. It's just not for the full game, not for the end of the game. I thought if they ran the ball more, they probably would have won the game. They were acting like the amount of times they were throwing that they were down. But it's little sloppy things pop up, and that results in them losing games. But if you watch them, you could feel that they are, they are probably better than this. Just got to figure out how to close out these games and win and, and get a little more consistent. Uh, and the Broncos are on a three-game winning streak. They're up four spots yeah of course you expect them to beat the Raiders but hey the Broncos haven't beat the Raiders in some time so they're playing pretty well on both sides of the ball things are kind of clicking so let's see if they can keep climbing end of the day they keep on winning no matter who they play and they do have a good you know win under their belt on the resume with the Buccaneers so that looks pretty good so they're up four spots because they are winning and looking better to number 14 13 the Seahawks are down four spots another team you kind of I kind of want to move down more not a lot of room for that at the same time of they are first place in a what's supposed to be a tough division, and I still think it is tough. Uh, you know, it, it will be tougher as the year goes on as well. So they do have some good wins under their belt, but they lost two straight, even though the Lions one wasn't the worst loss. But this one against the Giants was pretty bad. They're going to move down four spots, maybe some help underneath them for why they aren't uh, moving down more. 12, the Cowboys. With a thriller, a clutch win against the Steelers going up five spots. So they're putting together a little bit of a streak. A game that they weren't really expected to win given the injuries and they're in Pittsburgh. And it was a little sloppy, but they're getting better. You know, their clutch, the run defense, the defense in general looked a little bit better uh, the last two weeks, I suppose. Maybe the Giants game, but compared to the you know first few games of the season, the running game's getting better. So good signs. They got some help. With some other teams losing and not looking so hot. So they are number 12. Number 11, the Eagles are going to stay put after the bye week. Number 10, the Packers are going to go up two spots and win against the Rams. They were a little sloppy in that game, but a dominant second half. Maybe not a dominant ending. Uh, you know, they almost let the Rams get back in it. Was surprised about that. But yeah, and the Packers are honestly a little underwhelming right now. But you can see they're a good team. And that it's kind of what I expected at the same time. That they weren't going to be great early on. But they're going to get great throughout the year. So I think they're on track here. But they're up two spots to number 10. Number 9, the Bucks are down two spots. And they almost won a good game against the Falcons. And that would have resulted in them moving up. But they have some tough losses in that game that lets them away in that Broncos game. But other than that, they've looked dominant at times, especially on offense. And they have that win in week one against the Commanders. You know, it's probably going to hold less value every week. There's another game. But the resume looks pretty decent right now. They've been a pretty good football team. The pass defense needs to pick it up. But also, Winfield's been out. And, you know, more guys in the secondary so get those guys back, and we'll see what happens there. They got the Saints in a tough one this week. They're at number nine. And there's the Falcons. The offense really got got going. The defense was pretty bad. They did clutch up at the end, though, so give them credit there. Uh, but the offense really got going. Kirk Cousins and those weapons looking really good. I mean, the run game really wasn't much of a factor either, and they still did that much damage. They're up six spots, number eight. It's a team that's continuing to get better. They know how to pull off clutch wins, and I think they'll continue to get better, too. So that's the that's a scary thing in a good way for the Falcons. They're at number eight, up six spots. The Bills lost two straight. They're down three to number seven. Yeah, they almost came back in this game. I thought they were a little fortunate to kind of be in that game. Just nothing really going for them. The defense made plays down the stretch, I suppose, but Josh Allen was a little off. They, they were outmatched against the Texans, it felt like. Two weeks in a row, it felt like they were outmatched a little bit different ways, but they're down three spots to number seven, so... 
still feel like they're a top team perhaps, but you know, you can't put together these losing streaks and expect to stay put or go up or anything like that. Uh, they're going against the Jets on Monday Night Football this week. That should be interesting. Uh, you know, looking at those past games, you know, in New York against a top def- a tough defense, but the Jets are very beat up at the same time. That's going to be an interesting game there that could go either way. We'll see who we pick in our picks video tonight, Tuesday night, week six picks. Join us every single week for that. Turn notifications on, sub- subscribe so you don't miss any of the content. Number six, the Commanders. It's weird seeing them at number six, but they're good. I mean, I know it was the Browns, but it, it, sort of a new challenge for them going against a uh, much better defense than what they've played all year, and it just seems like the same thing, like a really good team that's continuing to get better and have a load of weapons that can help them out, and Jane Daniels an improving rookie quarterback, and the defense is improving, so uh, good signs there. They're at number six, up two spots. They are rolling right now, and it's this is going to be fun because number five, the Baltimore Ravens, who pulled off a clutch win, looked elite on offense. They play number six, the Washington Commanders, five versus six this week. That is an interesting matchup in Baltimore. The Ravens are favored by about six and a half, so maybe a little disrespect to the Commanders there. That's, ooh, that's going to be fun. A lot of offense, a lot of offense, two teams that got – a really good running game, but quarterbacks that can escape pressure and make wild plays. Oh, that I can't wait for that game. Can't wait to see who we all pick in our picks video tonight. Number four, the Texans beat a good Bills team. They go up one spot. It got a little sloppy at the end. They should have put this game away. Um, so, yeah, when Collins went out, everything kind of went south. Even C.J. Stroud, I wasn't thrilled with how he was playing. And I'm very high on C.J. Stroud. I'm sure he'll figure it out. And overall, he's been very good this year. But... Seems like they need Nico Collins. Looks like one of the best offensive players. Probably the best receiver. I'd say he's the best receiver in football right now this year. But they will get Joe Mixon back as well. But I like the defense this game. The defense made the top MVP candidate look nowhere near the top guy right now. So that was a good that was a good look after with some worries about the defense after the Jags game. So statement win, good win. Even though they kind of let it slip away, almost let it slip away. I should say they're up one spot, to number four. Lions were on a bye. I. They look really good this year. The defense slipped up against Seattle a little bit, but that offense, you could argue, is the best in football. They can win with the pass, the run, and they got playmakers everywhere, even on defense, getting after the quarterback. I I don't see any reason to move them down. They don't feel like a number four or five team. They feel like the number three team right now, and they'll play a a Cowboys team that's starting to pick it up. Remember that battle they had last year, Lions-Cowboys prime time towards the end of the season? So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, Number one and number two are on a bye. So the Lions, if they do some damage, if they go out there and shellac the Cowboys, could they move up? I definitely think it's possible there. The Texans got to take care of business. They play the Patriots this week. Uh, two and one, pretty much the same team right now, not just because they're the only two undefeated teams, but how they played. I thought about moving the Chiefs back up to one uh, because they were absolutely dominant in their game, but they it didn't really show on the score. They, they did put the Saints away eventually. Uh, but that's kind of what the Vikings did too. They absolutely dominated, even though the Jets are struggling. It feels like it's kind of a, still a decent team, a tough challenge. They dominated them, but they let the Jets kind of sneak back in there. So they were both kind of in the same boat. I think the Chiefs look slightly more dominant, but looking at the resumes this year in the, the full five games, it felt like the Vikings a little more impressive still, so I didn't see any reason to move these teams. I also like with the Vikings that their offense – Finally was a little off, even though they were moving the ball quite easy until Aaron Jones went down. Felt like it feels like the Vikings, when they absolutely need to move the ball, like absolutely they moved the ball. So that still showed a little bit. But what I like about the Vikings, getting to my point, is that the offense was finally off, but the defense just went out there and won the game. So it feels like they can win a game in different ways. So I do love that. I think the Chiefs are the same thing. They're so explosive on offense, but the defense very well coached, just like the Vikings. So those two teams are in the same boat. Um yeah, am the Viking as a Vikings fan? Flashbacks to 2016. They started five and zero, had a bye in week six. It's the same thing this year. I'm a little more optimistic, but the Vikings have always let me down, so I'm a little being a little cautious. Uh, do I think they're going to end the year number one in my power rankings? I'm not expecting it. I hate to say it. I'm not. I'm not expecting them to be this good all the way through, but. I'm not going to completely doubt them. It looks like they're a much better football team than the whole world thought that I, you know, than I thought that, and they're a good football team that should uh, continue to play good football. So semi optimistic, but I do think again, it's a good, uh, a good example why these power rankings are right now. They're not end of the year predictions. There's other teams that I think will rise up, but just predictions. They got to go out there and show it. You got to go out there and win games and look good while doing it. And you will move up. If you do the opposite, 
you will move down. But there you have it. Check out our recap videos. We had a couple of them for uh, week five on the channel, but week six videos inbound here, starting with this one every Tuesday morning, Tuesday night. We got our pick show. Lots of content, always adding more, covering the Devontae Adams trade. We'll have more trade deadline videos closer to the time. But that will do it for this one. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Goodbye.